All right. Hey, everybody. How are you guys doing today? How are you? I am. I am good. I am good. <laughs> there seems to be a disturbance in the force. <clears throat> are you noticing this? There's some kind of disturbance or some kind of stuff that's in between um, you and where you want to be. And I'm feeling like there are some other people or other energies that are interfering. There's some other energies that are interfering. I'm really feeling that the last couple days, my frustration level is <clears throat> very high. My patience level is very low. And that hasn't happened in a really long time. I feel like this Taurus new, new moon energy is really heavy. It just feels really heavy to me. And um, that's hard for a Sag, you know? It's hard. And I got a lot of air in my chart. We like to be, you know, free and swimming around the universe and all of that kind of stuff. It's really tough to be in this heavy energy. When that Saturn was in Sag for those two and a half years, I'm telling you, I could barely get out of bed. Um, so heavy, really so heavy. And that makes it hard to, for me anyway, to get along with, with earth people, <laughs> Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I do have some of those people in my life and the pace, the pace at which things move, the, the absolute, um, it's just a difference, right? It's like Capricorn Taurus Virgo is great. Sagittarius, you know, Aries Leo, great. Just a different way of doing things. And so I feel like there's some, there's that. And then I feel like there's also some other energies that are trying to mess things up, trying to get in the way, trying to cause frustration, trying to stir up things. And it's energy. It's not like anybody is directly doing it. It's energy. Okay. And maybe uh, seeing the true motives of people. There's something here about trust too. Um, we're now moving into the state of full transparency. And those who can see full transparency can see a liar at 20 paces. You can see um, someone who has motives that aren't in alignment with uh, your highest good. You can see those things. And now it's just a matter of trusting yourself. Are you going to trust yourself? Or are you going to fall into that, this is the, oh, I got to be polite, or oh, this is the way, you know, maybe they're not that bad, or something like that, right? Believing the best in everyone. So let's do a little bit of a reading today. Let's see where we're going, and let's see where we are. Um, there's something here about how do I be a grown-up and still be like a fairy unicorn princess, right? Like, <laughs> how do I, how do I uh, combine those two things and you know how do I stay being in my light empath bright healing joyful energy and yet still you know sort of be that badass warrior that sees through stuff and just knocks it out right how do you do those two things So let's see here. This is a twin flame, higher vibration, love energy right now. Nine of wands. Nine of wands, ten of wands situation, four of pentacles, temperance. Yeah, I th this is going to balance because there is love here. If you're feeling, if you're feeling like this has been a difficult situation with somebody, Wow, there's going to be, <laughs> okay. I feel like you're right to protect yourself, okay? I feel like there was love at one time, or there was connection. There was real, real, there was real. 
And part of the universe's job is to help you get that grown up badass, knock them out when you see them warrior. Okay. Part of you understands that part of you is seeing that you're in a situation. This is for some of you uh, right now in a situation where the other person is blocked off, holding back. I almost feel like it's because you can see. You can see. And they're they're like, oh, right? It's like, it's one thing to be in this uh, 3D, very 20th century feeling about, hi, Ellie, about, um, oh, well, I can just lie with impunity or I can just create this persona and put this mask out there and people don't know the difference. You, my friends, can see the difference. Now it's a matter of trusting yourself. Okay? Because this is you, Ten of Wands, and this is the situation, Four of Pentacles. It's like trying to protect yourself. The card underneath is Nine of Wands. You've been through this before. Okay? You've been through this before. This is not your first rodeo. Okay? And that's even more reason to trust yourself. The opportunity is for balance. The near future is for balance, but balance with truth. It's like if this person is not giving very much, why not? It's, it's, you can see right through them. They know it. So they are not giving you anything. All right. Part of it is fear of being found out that they have a mask. Part of it is also that, oh, uh, this has been my shtick for a long time and I don't know how to behave otherwise. All right. I do feel like there is genuine feeling here on some level, two of cups in the recent past. Okay. I'm feeling like it's coming under scrutiny. I feel like your your spidey senses are tingling. This doesn't have to be a twin flame. This is about your progression as an ascended human. This is about your elevation, your moving forward, being able to see very transparently through people. Use the force, Luke, right? It's like you don't trust the mask anymore. Okay. The ground, the, the underneath here is this nine of pentacles, very confident, very strong, very stable. This is why I am working my job. Now my mission, my path is to get you stable on that road of being so stable financially, physically, emotionally, spiritually, in every way. I can almost see it's like Buffy, the vampire slayer, right? I can almost see it's like magician. There you are. Magician. Nine of Pentacles. You got all the tools. You just got to trust yourself. What's coming in the near future is this Page of Cups. And it is a small offer of love. I feel like you might think this person is a twin. This is like the, this is the sense of like, I thought this person was a twin. They're not. They're not, they're not in that higher vibration. They're not in that energy. They're not in that they have, they have um, some kind of problem. There's some kind of problem that they're only showing you very little. What is it? What's the problem? Fool. Okay. Wow. Two more here. Okay. This is not a good thing. <laughs> this person's coming across as like page of cups. But here's what's going on in their life. We got, I got three fives here, five of pentacles, five of swords, and now the five of wands here. And we got some very powerful major arcana. Look at this. Okay. So other people tower fool. They are blasting out of an existing situation. The existing situation is a karmic one moving forward. I feel like five of cups I feel like that could be um, 
I feel like you're seeing right through this person because the outcome here is five of swords. Okay. And I feel like there's going to be like, you, it's not your first rodeo. There's going to be communication. I feel like there's a chance of, of being together, reconciliation, coming back together. Okay. Lovers and temperance card here, Sag, Gemini. There's lovers and temperance. And then there's communication. Five of Pentacles. If you're, if this is resonating for you and your spidey senses are tingling about somebody, listen to them. Cause this person is going through a huge upheaval in their life. They're not telling you about it and th they're not telling you about it. Okay. You are trying 10 of wands banging your head against the wall and they are not forthcoming with any information. I feel like for some, it could be that they are having a, some kind of breakdown, some kind of, um, they could have lost their business. They could be going through a divorce and it's embarrassing to them. They want to control the situation. They want to control the narrative. They don't want to talk about it. I feel like you are going to dodge a bullet here. Um, this is not, this is the person who is preparing you to be that badass Buffy the Vampire Slayer. This person got in, they may have even made you think that there's a soulmate, it's a twin flame, it's something like that. This is a person who has a mask on. I don't feel like this is going to end well. I think it's going to end fine for you because you're here watching and you know, turn your back on this person, turn your back on this person, three of wands, ace of pentacles, 10 of pentacles, turn your back on this. They're trying to get one over on you. They're trying to get you to do something. They're trying to get you what do they want from you? Queen of Cups, Eight of Cups, Queen of Swords, World. So this person could be leaving another situation and they want to jump onto your lily pad. Okay? And they're having Tower, Devil. Seriously? They're moving from being carefree or be, they, they've had this life they're going through some kind of upheaval, moving, and it's going to be Five of Cups. They're going to lose Five of Cups, Five of Pentacles, Five of Swords. I feel like there was a lot of good feeling in the past, but I feel now somehow this person has been perverted. This person has gone to the dark side or has done something, has um, created a mask that isn't real. They're, they're going through a lot of shit and they're keeping it from you because they don't want you to know. I feel like it's an embarrassing thing. I feel like they're going through something that is, um, maybe they're afraid that you're going to feel they're a loser and you might be right about that. This is not a twin. If you've got, if this is for, this is for you guys, who have people coming toward you, when you shine that light as brightly as you're shining it, you're going to get moths. Okay. You're going to get all kinds of crap coming at you. This person, this could have been a very long time. You've known this person. And I'm just feeling like they're, they may try to offer you a new beginning, but you don't know all of this other stuff. Like you could get saddled with a lot of problems that I don't feel like they're being honest about. Okay. They're not being honest about them. I don't know who this reading is for. <laughs> I don't know who this reading is for, but if this is for you, if you're feeling like, Oh, we were in love and now they're all of a sudden not talking to me or it's been quite a while and you've been pushing romantic feelings. 
you've been feeling this separation, pay attention to the red flags, you deserve love. So I feel like you've invested a lot of time in this or a lot of energy and you want to see it through. I feel like there will be a reconciliation, some joyfulness, but then I feel like they're going to try to get one over on you. Five of swords is the outcome here. Okay. And I feel like it's in your best interest to walk away from this. Um, they're having a lot of problems. Three of wands, ace of pentacles, 10 of pentacles for you. Um, I feel like they're going to try to get you. I mean, it's, it could be about money, but it could also be about their stability. Pay attention to the red flags. This person could be going through a separation. And they're coming back around to you. This is somebody who might have disappeared for a while. My nose is so itchy right now. It's telling the truth. Um, you are not seeing what's going on with them. They're, tr they're playing you for a fool. They've got problems. Five of Wands. Devil energy here. And I do feel like Five of Cups, Five of Swords, Five of Pentacles. I don't, I feel like this is going to change. It may not change in a happy direction. Um, mostly because I feel like this person's not being honest. They're just not sharing themselves. They're not being vulnerable. They're not, they have shared all they were going to share. Right, got to the two of cups. I feel like you though here, I look at you, nine of pentacles, magician. That's really good. That says to me that you are able to move on from this. It's This is an ending. You, you might, you know, an ending and a new beginning. There's lots of good stuff coming in for you. I feel like the three of wands, ace of pentacles, 10 of pentacles, You've got, a, you know, it could be a lot about your money and finances and you just focused on your work now and, you know, things go crazy and that's awesome. Um, I'm going to do a second spread for you. That is if somebody is trying to get in, okay, somebody's trying to get in and you're just, you're like so open now, that fool energy, but with the nine of pentacles and the magician, that makes me feel like, remember what I was saying in the beginning about like, how do you reconcile the, um, the shiny unicorn, the sparkly unicorn princess, right? With the badass superhero. And the way you do that is to trust that badass superhero. The sparkly princess is like, oh no, how could they be terrible? We, there was love here once. It's not that they're terrible. It's just that they're not communicating and they're hiding things. And that makes my spidey senses tingle. All right, so let's do a different spread here. What's going on for you? If you're watching this, there's a message in here for you. I'm not sure who this is for. Not connected to any... Um, not connected to any zodiac sign or timetable. This is about somebody coming back around and trying a second try and you finally see it. You're seeing it. All right. Page of swords, maybe a little text out of nowhere. There's that page of cups again. Yeah. This person wants you to go on a trip. Okay. I feel like there's some struggle here. There's that Ace of Pentacles again. That's you. Five of Cups again. Temperance again. Four of Pentacles again. This person is not sharing. Four of Pentacles down here again. They're not sharing what's going on with them. I feel like they could be in the middle of some kind of really bad thing. I don't know. It could be a divorce. It could be their business is gone. They could have lost a job. They could have... Um, I doubt it's something that would make them look more human or good to you because they're holding on to it. They're not sharing it. It's something that's going to make them look bad. Like maybe they got caught skimming money off of their business embezzlement. Like we're talking big shit here. 
I'm not talking about little stuff. There's something here. Ten of Swords. There's something here that if you knew it, you would end it. If you knew what was going on, you'd end it. And they know it. Okay? Um, what are the blocks here? They're also only offering a very little bit to you. The blocks here are you're not listening to your intuition. You got to be your King of Swords High Priestess right now. Spidey sense. Okay? And Two of Wands. Make some, make some really... What it, what's the action for you here? Okay, so say you listen. I'm listening to my intuition. I'm listening. King of Swords. I'm being King of Swords. <laughs> Protect yourself from this new offer. Protect yourself. Seven of Swords. They're lying, man. Oh, my God. Could be a Cancer. Could be a, a, a Virgo. I see a Sag here. I also see Pisces. All right, let's talk to this other person for you. Messages to you from this other person. Seriously? They see you as a golden goose. I'm going to say that here. If you are stable and your business is rocking or you're doing something, I think they see you as the golden goose. If they're going through a really bad financial time with their work, their work is over, they don't know what to do about it, Message to you, Three of Swords. Holy cow. Message to you from this person. Lovers. One more before I talk about this. Wow. Eight of Cups. I feel like they're going to... Oh my Okay, I feel like they are going to try to have sex with you or try to be with you, and then they're going to walk away from you. Tower. I, I feel like if you... Um, I feel like devil energy, their intentions are not good. Three of swords. I feel like they're going to present themselves as lovers, the inverse of that devil energy, and then they might walk away. It's like they've been waiting all this time or they've been, um, boy, this is like vindictive. They might try, they're trying to get whatever they want. They're trying to get something from you. And that feels weird to me, trying to get something. What do they want from you? King of Wands, Six of Swords, Moon. So, they could walk, this Eight of Cups could be you walking together away from their disaster, okay? King of so King of Wands, um, Six of Swords, Moon, into that moon. You see how she's, this Six of Swords card makes me, I'm feeling very uneasy about this. I feel like this person is finally going to take action. And you'll be like, oh, yay, there's finally action here. There's finally something. And, um, hmm advice for you here. Two of Pentacles, Nine of Wands. Turn your back on them. That's Three of Wands. Keeps coming up. Turn your back on this. You've been through this before. Trust yourself. Trust your spidey senses. Trust your inner badass Buffy the Vampire Slayer here. Okay? Let's see how this unfolds. Wow. King of Cups. Six of Cups. Sun, other stuff coming in for you. Emperor. Okay. Walking away from somebody who is bringing in some bad shit is going to bring in some new stuff. There could be a Leo. I see an Aries. I see a uh, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. I feel like you got to walk away from the thing that is making you feel like, hmm, this isn't good. Because new stuff is coming in. You walk away from this. If you walk away from this, that Nine of Pentacles showed up again. It's like take your time, slow down, okay? Three of Wands again, walking away, turning your back. There's a new person who could be a water sign. All right, there's some sadness here. I feel like this other thing is going to end. 
thank you for this. This brings us to further ahead in the future. Um, within this year, I feel like this is going to be happening within this year that a new person is going to come in. If you, if you are getting, if you're dealing with somebody right now who may be coming in and out of your life, who's very erratic, who is not telling you the truth, or you feel is not telling you the truth. And it's not that they're lying to you, which is that they're not saying anything. Okay. Four of Pentacles. They're not saying anything. If you have somebody like that in your life, I feel like you have to trust your own gut here. You got to trust your spidey senses because there is new love coming in. Somebody that will make you happy. Somebody that will be more transparent, happy, joyful. Okay. Knight of Pentacles, Judgment Star. The wish is granted to walk away. I mean, I don't really feel, I feel like this person has some disaster going on in their life. I don't feel like they're capable. I don't feel like they're capable of having relationship. I feel like they want to jump on your lily pad or have you fix something for them. I don't know that you should trust this person. I feel like you you stand up for yourself, you do what's right for yourself, and um, a couple things will happen. I feel like new people, new opportunities, goodness will come in. I also feel like regardless of what's happening here, I feel like your business is going to take off. Your business, your money, all of that stuff is going to be like amazing, okay? Um, I feel like this person sees that. They know you're going places. They know, and so... They're not talking because they don't want to reveal too much of what's happening with them. But put the pieces together for yourself. Look at what's going on. Be objective. Be this king of swords. All right. Be objective. See what's going on. What's really happening here. And know that your decision to walk away if you walk away first from this, I feel like this person is going to implode. I feel like they're going to be like, what? Okay. Because uh, they thought they had you. They thought they had you. And they might have had you, right? They might have had you. But they're only offering Page of Cups. They're not offering anything real. They're coming across like they're offering something real, but they're not offering something real. They're lying to you. They're not, they're not. They're lying by omission. They're just not saying it. You know, like there's that episode of Law and Order where the guy goes to work for 16 years and doesn't have a job and he kills people for their money so his wife doesn't know. That's what I'm talking about. Maybe not that extreme, but I'm talking about somebody who is being devious, who is being sneaky, who is being, who is definitively obfuscating the the um picture but you know what here's what's freaking them out they know you can see because you're an empath they know you can see beyond this 3d block of wood stuff they know you can see beyond that that's why they're not telling you they're not saying anything so i do feel like there might be um some kind of event that you have been waiting for to get back together with them or to be with them again or something like that. And it's going to, I feel like it could end the relationship because I feel like they're not being honest and you're going to be, you're going to start listening to your intuition more. You're going to start asking questions and then it's just going to all come apart. It's going to all just come apart. Okay. I don't know who that reading was for, but it's a heads up for sure. Okay. All right, my loves. There you go.